Hello everybody, my name is Peter Klapper from the School of Biosciences at the University of Kent and in this video clip I want to demonstrate how we can determine the order of a reaction from experimental data. So first of all we have some uh, experimental data where we have a reaction, say a reactant which is consumed uh, and um, we or produced whatever and um, we measure the rate of this reaction at different concentrations of this reactant. And uh, we can uh, really write a rate equation for this. So we can, for example, say that our rate, rate equals K, that is our rate constant, times the concentration of the reactant, and I abbreviate it like that, to the power of m. Uh, so we have these uh, different things. As I said, that's the rate constant, that is the uh, concentration of the reactant, and that is our rate order, and that is what we want to determine. So how can we deal with that? Well, in order to find m, what we need to do is we can log both sides so we can use the log to the basis of 10 or we can use any other logarithm as long as we are consistent and we would get log rate equals log k plus m times log the, of the concentration of the reactant. And we can also write this in a slightly different form. So log rate equals m log of the reactant concentration plus log k of the rate constant. And that is the equation for a straight line. So y equals mx plus c. So in this case, our log k is the intersect with the y-axis, our m is the gradient, and we simply plot, in this case, we plot log r of the reactant. Remember, if we've got a log on an axis, we don't have any units, so no units, versus log of the rate. And again, we don't plot any uh, units and we will get hopefully a straight line that uh, looks something like that. So how do we do that in practical terms? Well, what we do is we just simply calculate the log of the reactant and the log of the rate. So here, for example, log of the reactant that gives us That gives us 0.31 and log of 0.05, that gives us negative 1.293. Uh, don't worry about the negative, this is perfectly all right if uh, these numbers uh, over here are small. It's perfectly uh, legitimate to, to use negative numbers. Also, if we had uh, some small numbers here, these numbers would be negative, but uh, that's nothing uh, really to worry. So uh, what we can do now with these log data is we can plot our, uh, our log data, the, here the log reactant, we pl plot this on the x-axis, and the log of the rate, we plot that on the y-axis, and we get a perfectly straight line. So this means that our reaction uh, always maintains the same rate order, which is not necessarily always the case. If we think, for example, at an enzyme reaction, in a typical michaelis menten uh, reaction, the rate order will change from a first-order reaction at low substrate concentrations to a zero-order reaction at uh, very high substrate concentrations. Now we can determine the gradient of uh, this uh, graph, and uh, I've got it already here. So the gradient, our m, equals 
So this would be the right order of our reaction. And we've got minus, minus 1.6999. That is this point here. And for this one, we said this is the log of the rate constant. And of course, we can convert that. So that is log k. And if we want to, uh, want to calculate what k actually is, all we need to do is take both sides 10 to the power of. So we have 10 to the power of minus 1.1.6999. 1 1 equals 10 to the power of log. So 10 and log cancels out. So we have k. And if we uh, calculate that, we get k equals 0 0.02. Now, of course, what we need to do is we need to find out what is the unit of that. So what we can uh, write is our rate equation. So we have rate equals k times reactant to the power of m. And if we put in our data, we have rate equals 0 0.02 units, we need to find out what this is, times r to the power of 1.35. So how do we find the unit? Well, we do a simple unit equation for that. So we know that our rate has the unit of millimolar per minute. That is a normal rate unit. And we have for k, we have what we are looking for, that's the units. And we have for the reactant, we have millimolar to the power of 1.35. So in order to find the units, uh, we simply divide both equations by this one here. So we have divided by millimolar to the power of 1.35 and we get millimolar divided by minutes times millimolar to the power of 1.35 and that would be our unit here because that cancels here out. And we can also write this as millimolar to the power of one. So we can write this, uh, just simply we bring this up with a minus. So we have millimolar to the power of one times millimolar to the power of minus 1.35 divided by minute. And this would give us one minus 1.35. So that would give us millimolar to the power of minus 0 0.35 divided by minute. Or we could also write this as millimolar to the minus 0 0.35 minute to the minus 1. And in general, if we are looking for the uh, unit of the rate constant, uh, for k, what we find is, as a general rule, the unit is concentration of 1 minus the order of the reaction divided by, and I should say it in general terms, by time. So that is, in general, the unit for the rate constant. So hopefully this makes sense and thank you very much for watching it.